Good morning, good morning, a good morning, and happy Monday. So I'm gonna to try to do a vlog this week, and um, probably won't get published until after the 4th because we are going away for the 4th, and um, I wanna add some clips to the end. So I'm like super excited because we did, uh, we've did. we been working on the motorhome, and um, we had it in for repairs. That's the one thing about an RV, you know? they can they can really uh, suck when they break down but so we had it in for some maintenance and some repairs and we got it back so Jay was out there and uh, superimposed this clip so you can see what he was doing but he he really worked super hard with the um, trying to get the cabinets he, he really did a great job he wiped them all down he shined them all up it was really awesome. So I'm gonna superimpose this clip and I'll be right back. So we finally got the, the RV back and we're like trying to get it cleaned up and trying to, uh, Jay was actually doing the cabinets. He was, he was uh, tackling the cabinets. And then I still have to, I've got all my utensils in this tub here, where is how we store it over the winter. And then um, I still have to take it all out and, you know, put them in the drawers. And then in the bedroom, we still, we've got everything piled up in the bedroom because um, we have, you know, we've got, um, it's the bathroom. You see everything is piled, but we've got a lot of stuff to all over the bed here. <laughs> of course, Jay wants to buy a new, um, a new mattress, so I don't really know. But yeah, so this is all sheets, blankets, pillows for the living room. Oh, I don't know what else is over there. Mostly sheets and towels in here, in these containers. So yeah, it's an old motorhome, but it's our motorhome. He's doing a pretty good job with the cabinets, that's for sure. He's doing a really good job. I gotta get some uh, liners and then I can put all the, the stuff back in here. That's in here. We're ready to go camp. Well, not quite. You can see we have a lot still to do, but we're almost ready to go camping. Yeah, so I figured I'd try maybe a different type of a vlog. I don't know, we'll see. But um, so now the rest of this week I'm working obviously and I have to stock the refrigerator. I've got all the drawers put together. I got all the utensils in the drawers. On Sunday I bought, Saturday I went out and I bought the draw liners. So I get that all done and we put all the, I put all the utensils in there. The bed's made up. We still have some other things we have to do inside to, you know, make sure that we have everything we need. Um, I probably have to do a pair of long pants because it gets cold at night in Maine. And Jay needs to put some of his clothes in there. But other than that, I'm all set. My cosmetics and stuff, I just grab that as I go. Um, when I leave Thursday morning, I'm going to be working out of Exeter. Jay will take the motorhome up. And I'll meet him up there that night. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'll just take my cosmetics and whatever I need, you know, with me when I leave. But And I'll do grocery shopping. I'll stock the refrigerator. We'll, start, we'll put a little stuff in there, what I have here, but normally, you know, I kind of decide what we might eat a little bit, and I'll go shopping sort of on my way up, so I'll probably do that Thursday. So, anyways, um, yeah, so it's been, it's been a busy, busy, busy week doing all that, and I had a video that I did on, I'm, I'm sure, hopefully you all saw it on the, um, well, now, by the time you see this, it'll be really, um, about a week and a half ago but um, yeah I did a video confession of a mature women woman which uh, was Susan Little Poets tag and I really enjoyed that I had some really good remarks and you know um, it was well received then I did another video which is not yet published just going to be published after the fourth but I did another collab with Babs from uh, Take Control Beauty and we sort of came up with this one on the cuff, so I hope it um, I hope it goes well. I do. It's it was it was a fun collab, and she's just an awesome person. So yeah, I've got an exciting week, and um, welcome to my vlog. I don't know when this will be published, but it'll be after the fourth. So have a good one, guys. 
So we're in the Booth Bay Harbor Botanical Gardens. And Jason, we're in the, what is this, the Overlook Bridge? Yep. The Overlook yep. Bridge. These botanical gardens, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, are just beautiful. We went in the butterfly hut, saw two butterflies. <laughs> I was kind of like bummed, I thought I'd see more. But really pretty, really pretty. Gorgeous. Yeah. The bridge we came over. I mean, check out that. <coughs> Detail. Uh, these trolls, this installation. Je uh, folks, you want to go this way unless you're going on the shuttle. So we went inside and we had um, some hot chocolate and coffee. And I would have loved to have sat out here, but the outside cafe was not open. So. So gorgeous. We are going to go look for the Dahlia Gardens. And so we're gonna look for the Dahlia Gardens, which was my dad's favorite plant. I hope that we we have the opportunity to really see some pretty ones. Dad would love it. This garden is absolutely fantastic and this is all like it's a kids learning center. I mean from all sorts of amazing houses and little toy houses and and then the gardens and oh my gosh. Got to bring my granddaughter and my grandson when he's old enough. This is so amazing. Just so amazing. <laughs> Tool shed. All the gourds in there. Jay, you having you having a, a good time? Yeah, beautiful. It's but the funny thing is, I've seen a lot of these plants out in the wild. But to see them all here grouped, it's pretty cool. Yeah, you get to know what they are. They're identified and all that stuff. And yeah. I can't imagine what this looks like in the, you know, at Christmas time when uh, it's all lit up and all that. It'd be beautiful. Yeah, but a lot of them are dead. But the grounds are going to be all lit up and beautiful, whether the flowers are alive or not, I know that. But it's like amazing. I love this little kid's maze, you know, behind me. Oh, it's like yeah. awesome. This has really been um, a fun day. A fun day. Especially on a rainy I look like a really wacky tourist. I have my South Carolina hat on in a bar harbor. And I'm in Booth Bay Harbor. <laughs> Not by Harbor or South Carolina. They're actually working these. You want to get out of you? Wow. That's amazing. So we're heading to East Booth Bay right now. Was this our third time there? <laughs> it's our third time there. But this will be the first time that we've had actually a little bit of sunshine. And, um, and whatnot, right? So we're heading over to East Booth Bay and Jay is gonna fly his drone unless the wind kicks up amazingly bad. Then he then he won't. But um, we're gonna go out on Grimes Beach out on the rocks. Last night we did the fireworks in Booth Bay Harbor. They were they were you know, I it was just really awesome to be there and see the fireworks. 
but I was a little disappointed, but I think it was that vantage point, right? Because it was sort of like anticlimactic, I guess. It was sort of nondescript and all that. But, you know, to watch the fireworks over the harbor was nice. Last year we were there, we watched the fireworks out on a boat, and that was, like, fabulous. That was the best. Yeah, and due to COVID, the boat was, like, empty, you know? So we had we had um, plenty of room, and the fireworks were just... I think they put on an extra special show because of COVID. But, um, so the fireworks they were anticlimactic and however the finale was really nice I'm gonna close a clip of the finale right now so you can see it just warming up so you know I mean I think it's I think when you watch fireworks and you can see them you know in some of the reflection on the water I think it's really nice so that's what we did last night and thankfully the rain stopped in time for us to have sort of a dry fireworks because it has been raining this entire trip right babe oh, it's been horrible and so it's kind of been trusting for him because he, he likes the sun he thrives on the sun and there has been no sun really so we'll see. I'll add some clips as we go forward down to Booth Bay, but that's the plan for today. Yeah, it's rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today's Monday. Yeah. July 5th. And we leave tomorrow, yeah. July 6th. Well. So that's the beginning of the path at Grimes Beach. Our car is parked up there. What happened? This is just probably one of my favorite spots over an ocean point. This is a pathway that is for the public. Isn't it gorgeous. Yeah, I remember last year taking pictures from there, or a couple of years ago, I should say. Yeah. I probably don't have the correct shoes for this, as uh, usual. Uh, cool, you? Me. Got to step on the rocks. Wow, ah, must be all the rain they've had. Oh. Uh, So how is that drone experience, honey bun? <laughs> it was good. I got it out that way, then I sent it over there, got over those houses, into the bay there and other houses. So hopefully, you know, be able to edit some good footage. Cool. Absolutely beautiful out here, I love it. goes up 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 probably my favorite spot 
Ocean Point over in East Booth Bay, Maine. Just gorgeous here. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this little church, this little chapel. I always say that if Jay and I ever renew our vows, this is where I would want to do it. One time we came here and the doors closed behind us and I thought we were locked in. It was really, <laughs> it's really something else. Yeah, this is where I would want to renew my vows. I can see us standing here, renewing our vows. Of course, you get a good view of my car over there, but yeah. This is where we definitely renew my vows. So we're over in Southport Island and Jay's been flying the drone here. This time he turned the record button on. It's a beautiful day here. Absolutely gorgeous. And he's having fun with his drone. We, we ended up, I mean, we made the best of the weather situation over the 4th of July weekend. We love going up to Booth Bay Harbor. And other than the weather, our trip was mostly uneventful. We enjoyed the botanical gardens. We did that the first day we were there Friday. And then um, we went out to dinner twice. We cooked lobsters in the campground uh, once. And we just, we just relaxed. We just kind of totally vegged out. Jay had a couple of little um, issues with his drone, meaning he forgot to hit the record button once. But other than that, he got a lot of practice and he really enjoyed it. But you know, I, I had the biggest misstep ever. Many of you have seen my aviator glasses. I think that's what they're called. Well, they're prescription glasses and they're prescription sunglasses. And um, I dropped them and I stepped on them. They were in a soft case. They slid out of my pocketbook when I got to get up and go into a store and I stepped down on them and I totally bent the heck out of them. I can't even wear them. The glass itself, the, the lens themselves did not break and the frames didn't break. They just got scamushed. Just totally scamushed. I, I don't know. And you know, and I wear a lot of sunglasses because I hate squinting in the sun and you know, the prescription sunglasses are not inexpensive. <laughs> They're pretty darn expensive. So I was so mad at myself. I couldn't believe I did that. Oh my gosh. I was really proud of myself though on the makeup I brought. I, I, I wore my same sunblock every day. The foundation that I ended up bringing was my Estee Lauder. I, you know what? I just, it, it lasts really well on me. It's not a 24 hour wear, but it lasts a lot longer than any of my drugstore foundations do. 
So I brought that because I knew I wasn't going to, I was going to be out in the weather and I wasn't going to be running into touch up. And so as it was, I put my makeup on, very, very minimal amount of makeup in the morning. Then we went out and explored. We got rained on. We got wind blown. I looked a mess half the time, but I never really touched my makeup up. I brought two toppers, <laughs> two buns, and one wig with me. Uh, and that's the, the perfect thing about wearing a wig, I'll tell you, is that um, when you, when, when the, of course I didn't wear the wig all the time, obviously, but when you do wear a wig and the weather is bad and <laughs> rain and all that, your hair looks really, really good, even in bad weather conditions. So, but I didn't wear it all that time uh, when we were away. But, I, you know, normally I just overpack like crazy. And so the one thing that I, didn't do was all my warm weather clothes. I somehow inadvertently I left my jean jacket home. I left my raincoat home. I left my sweatshirts home. I had one sweatshirt with me and it was lightweight and then I had two long sleeve tops. Everything else was summer. Short sleeve shorts and I had one pair of longer pants. I was I was I was like I think if, it, if left to my own, if the stores hadn't been closed when we got there and the next day, I think I would have probably bought some cold weather gear because we really needed it. And so I ended up borrowing a Jay sweatshirt. My, my girlfriend let me borrow one of hers. Um, but I left all my cold weather gear at home. So what do you think I did? First thing I did after we unpacked the motorhome, we came home. I brought my cold weather gear out there. So it's in my closet, in the motorhome. Yes, um, on our way home, we stopped in Freeport and didn't buy anything, but we stopped in Freeport and then we ventured further south and we crossed over the New Hampshire border. I think it was right around 12.30, thereabouts. I can't remember the exact time, but about 10 after 12, we were on Route 95, about 10 after 12, there was a horrific accident and um, what it ended up happening is 95 is a thoroughfare. it's a huge huge highway it's an interstate and a, a woman was going northbound on 95 mind you we were coming southbound we were going home from Maine a woman was going back to Maine and she was 66 years old a year younger than me and she was driving drunk she's a drunk driver she sideswiped the car next to her in the northbound lane on 95, then went through the medium, which is like a huge medium right in the road. It goes down, it's grassy, and then it goes up and goes into the southbound side. Well, she sideswiped a car and then drifted down the medium, went over, went into the southbound lane, and hit a Jeep carrying four people head on. The Jeep spun. The, I don't know if it was the driver or a passenger, but one person was killed. I, I can't understand how, you know, I mean, gosh, a drunk driver, it doesn't matter, I guess, what time of day, but, you know, who would even think of a drunk driver at noontime? You know what I mean? So I'm always antsy when we hit the road to come home from a trip away, always, because until we're off the road, I'm, I'm just, I'm like a little Nelly, nervous Nelly, not little nothing little about me big um, so yeah you know and it was so sad we from it took for, for us to go three miles to get off of our exit right three miles on 95 two hours that's how long we were backed up and traffic was closed for a lot longer than that there were people that were backed up and they sat in traffic for four hours we were at least able to get off route 101 and head west on 101 to come home but so scary right I mean you just never know when 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 the last moment will be I guess so so scary so it's been a crazy week at home yesterday um, uh, July 8th was a tough tough day for me uh, I, it hit me last night. It didn't hit me during the day as much, but it hit me last night. And, uh, and I just relived the moments a year ago when my dad died. And, you know, I, I looked at the clock, 7 o'clock. I, I was in the hospital with him. I was holding his hand. 8 o'clock. 
you know, I knew something was happening. I was scared. Nine o'clock, my dad died. It's like, it just hit me last night. It just hit me. And I mean, I woke up in the morning and I said, I am not gonna cry today. I'm gonna focus on happy memories. I tried. I failed. I didn't focus on happy memories. You know, it was one of those things. So, anyways, next week is going to be kind of cool. We have guests coming. They're coming in their motorhome. And uh, they're going to be camping in our yard. And then head up to Bar Harbor, where we meet up with them in August. So, yeah, that's the scoop. Um, I've got a couple of videos I'm going to record. I'm not too sure when this is going to go public, but hopefully, hopefully soon. I'm just going to add this to the end of my vlog. It's kind of a mishmash of stuff, but it is what it is. So I do thank you so much for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye.